Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading covers the period from December 12th, the full moon in Gemini, to January 10th, when we have the full moon in Cancer. I do apologize, these readings are coming out a little bit late. Um, I have been traveling, I live between two countries, so in the United States and then in the Caribbean. And um, I also want to apologize in advance for any weird noises. Um, it is hot here, so I have to have the windows open, and there are definitely chickens and roosters running around, and sometimes they decide to kick off during the reading. Also, you might hear motorcycles and that sort of thing. Um, so I do apologize for that, but um, you know, I think we can get through it without any problem. Um, so this Gemini full moon, also known as the December full cold moon, will highlight a ton of information that you didn't have before. And thanks to Mercury, the planet of communication, moving from guarded Scorpio to outgoing Sagittarius, you'll be more inclined to share those thoughts. Every Gemini full moon brings tidal waves of information and demands that our eyes be open, our minds be inquiring and receptive, and our ears be ready. This full moon magnifies internal and external dialogues and spreads messages far and wide. Okay, so it's really important that you also are very discerning because remember Gemini is very chatty. So it will be anything and everything you'll be getting. So you really do have to discern the messages that you're hearing. Some of them will be truthful. Some of them will be half-truths. Okay, and just sort of your interpretation of, you know, the source of this information. For some of us, and especially if you guys feel like if you have Virgo in your chart, please listen to the Virgo reading, spectacular you know, downloads, manifesting. So some of you guys are going to be getting so many spiritual downloads that might be almost frightening. Okay, for some of you, that if you have Virgo in your chart, I do suggest reading, listening to that. Um, the full moon, this full moon spread is going to provide you messages that you need to hear about how to not only manifest for your highest good, but also what you need to release or what stands in your way. So on this channel, I do full moon readings and I do new moon readings. And new moons are a time for, um, you know, setting your intentions, speaking them out loud. Um, and full moons are a time for you to release anything that isn't serving you. And oftentimes it's the time when, when those manifestations occur. Um, we do also have some really important um, things coming up in this period. We do have the new moon in Capricorn, which I believe is happening on December 25th. And we also have a lunar eclipse. It's the 25th, 26th, um, around that period. So I want, um, so just pay attention because that's going to be very powerful right in the midpoint of the period of this reading, if that makes sense for you guys. So I'm going to be pulling seven cards and I read the eighth card, which is the bottom of the deck, the overall energy card, and then I'm going to finish up with additional messages from Spirit. So for Capricorns, while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. And don't forget to ring that bell for any notifications um, for when I upload any new material. So spirit angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed and spirit guides, please give, up, give us the messages that Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs need to hear for this full moon in Gemini period. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages do they need to hear for this full moon in Gemini until the full moon in Cancer period? Okay, your overall energy here is the fool. That's awesome, my dearest Capricorns. This is you starting a new journey. This is you having completed something. I'm getting that 2019 might have been a very difficult year for you guys. And again, this could resonate in love, work, health, any sort of relationship, your spiritual journey. But the fool is talking about, you know what, the starting new, starting on starting anew with an infinite amount of possibilities. All right, you can see he's doing the cosmic dance of, yeah, I did it, I made it, 
could be a major up leveling as well. The Queen of Cups, she's sort of the queen that the high priestess is most in touch with. So this is somebody who's very intuitive, very nurturing, very loving. So again, for some of you, this might be your spiritual journey. Okay, the King of Pentacles. This is stability. This is You might have lost a bit of stability for a while because you might have been attached to something that wasn't quite good for you. Okay, and um, and the sun here, this is some sort of partnership, some sort of co-creation. Again, we have the new moon popping up here and the three of pentacles is like you having done all of the work or it might be attached to you, the work that you do or how you bring in you know, the money and your abundance and your stability. Okay. So really interesting messages with the devil card. This is you guys showing up in your own reading. Um, but it could also be that you, you know, really worked through detaching yourself from any, um, you know, any toxic behavior patterns, any, um, toxic relationships. It could be the way that you speak to yourself. Okay. It could be, um, it could be, you know, maybe you were in a relationship that just wasn't working and wasn't good. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what other messages Spirit has for my dearest Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So where are you right now in your life? This is the Princess of Swords. This is you sending messages. Again, this could really, really speak to this time, this Gemini full moon period. Okay, remember Gemini is very, very tech savvy. I can't stop playing with these cards. I get that some, some of you guys, some of my Cappies out there are very real perfectionists. And with the Princess of Swords, that's also that same energy, you know, like I get that you're rearranging things so that they're just perfect. You're setting things up so they're just perfect. You're starting some sort of new path. Again, we see that with the Fool, but the Princess of Swords could be a new career, a new source of study. It could be higher education. Maybe you've decided to go back and get your GED, whatever it is, but you're starting this new path and you're being very, very honest with yourself and with other people around you. You're in a state of communication. You're in a state of preparing. And again, I get some of you are being very sort of particular and you're being very, you're like a stickler for details at this time because you want to make sure that everything is just right, okay? That everything is perfect because you feel like, yes, I'm starting over here. So I don't want to mess this up. How you project yourself to the world, Ace of Pentacles, that you are a seed that has just been planted, that you are full of growth and opportunity. I see that coming out. That's why you want everything to be so perfect. You want to show whether it's employers or whether it's a new partner or whether it's, you know, your God or whether it's your, you know, whoever it is that you speak to, you want to show them, hey, I am ready. Look, I am this huge, shiny, bright star. I am full of potential. <coughs> Excuse me, throat chakra acting up. Okay, again, you're speaking your truth. You're really standing in your truth or you're trying to. But you really just want to show like, hey, invest in me. Okay, some of you are selling yourselves and that's why you're like, I can see somebody getting ready for a job interview, you know, making sure their tie is right or making sure that their hair is right. You know, just making sure that like all of the details are attended to because you are this bright shining star that is, you know, full of potential either for an employer or for a person, you know, you're either getting ready for a date or an interview, okay, something like that. All right, what's blocking you, Capricorn, is a huge decision. This is Gemini energy, okay? <laughs> the lover's card, though, it could be a Gemini person. It could be this Gemini period, you know, because, again, you are going to be receiving lots of messages. It's very tech savvy. Um, you're going to be you're going to, you know, you're going to have to really sort of unpack all of the messages that you're receiving because they might be mixed messages as well. And the lover's card is like, is also like making this huge decision. I see this full moon in the background and I love this, but this could also be your relationships in the past. Something that really needs to be healed and cleared. I see that you're really, really hard on yourself about some of the decisions that you've made in the past, my dearest Capricorn, and you kind of, like, I get that you have some regrets, and you're trying to, like, you're so worried about making the same mistakes over and over again, and that's why you're being, like, really, really intense about these details, but Spirit is saying, you know, you do kind of need to relax a little bit, okay? <clears throat> 
All right, and again, that lover's card, it could be a relationship. It could be your relationship with your higher self. Again, how you're speaking to yourself. Um, you could also be like, you know, well, I've tried to manifest with the moon before and it didn't work and, you know, da, da, da. And I get that, you know, you can't micromanage everything either, Capricorn. That's the message I'm really getting here. And we see here there is... There is this yin yang and this star, this eight, one, two, three. It's a six pointed star. But we're seeing here, you know, sixes are all about love. And I'm do I do get though that this is company something may have come between you and a past lover and you maybe you know you can't fix that or change that, but you're trying your best to make sure that it doesn't happen again, okay? But spirit again is just telling me like please don't be too hard on yourself, Capricorn you know, let, let it go. You guys are, um, you know, you guys are one of the signs that are always really, really, you're your hardest and worst critics. Um, we're all guilty of it. And I'm not saying it as like, I'm saying it like, you know, shame on you. I'm saying it more like, you know, spirit wants you to ease up on yourself. Excuse me. I just had to take a little drink there. Okay. So, um, what you need to do to overcome these obstacles the three of wands this is release okay this is like okay you've done all of the work we see that you're being like a real stickler for details and preparation honest communication with yourself and with others seeing the big picture you know trying to prepare everything so that you know this seed can be planted and can grow into exactly what you want so you can manifest what it is you want all right the three of wands is then all of a sudden you know letting you know you've done all that work now it's time to let it go release it this card is often the card of parents who are watching their kids go off to college. They know that you've raised them, you've taught them to make the right decisions, but you can't really control what they do once they've left your house, right? And this is also you, whether this is a relationship or your relationship towards love or towards this project or towards health, wealth, happiness, whatever it might be, or success, you know, that's now it's time to... Now it's really time to wait for your ships to come in, okay? Because I get that you're trying to control too much. And there's a point, especially for those of you who are working with law of attraction, all right? You set your intentions, okay? You speak them out loud. You do all the work. You know, you're doing all the stuff that you need to do. But then there's a point in time where you have to release it. And that's the hardest part, but that's the part that's going to bring it to you, Okay, so like if you're reading too, if you find yourself watching too many tarot readings, if you, if you find yourself reading too many self-help books, if you find yourself overdoing it, remember Sagittarius, this is a time of expansion, but it's also a time to like limit the excess, so excess eating, drinking, thinking, overanalyzing, and I get that some of you are like really, really, really trying to manifest something, but you're actually sort of, you're, you're, you are your own obstacle because now you need to just release it, let it go. Let it off into the universe and the rest will be taken care of because you've done the work. You only really need to set your intention one time. You don't, if you keep repeating it over and over and over and over again, you know, it's actually just going to work against you, okay, with the law of attraction. So this message from here for, that I'm receiving is that, you know, spirit, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed, they've heard it. They've heard your intentions, okay? Um, don't let this past love or past relationship or making this very, very serious choice get in your way, okay? It's time to release. It's time to release control, Capricorn, okay? I know that can be difficult. Um, what can you do within to achieve your goals or to achieve your desires? The Eight of Wands. Again, I, some of you have to be working with Law of Attraction. The Eight of Wands is also a lot of communication, so I get that you're communicating. So, I, And again, what I was saying earlier with the Three of Wands, your communication is really important, especially if you're working on manifesting. Okay, so if you keep saying over and over again, I want, I want, I want, okay, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. You set your intention, you do the work necessary, okay, and then you release these wands into the air, and this is the law of detachment. It's coming out twice here. You know, now it's time for you to let these wands soar. They're going to land wherever, however, whenever they're supposed to. And you can't micromanage that. So if you're trying to micromanage too much, you're not going to get what, you, what you're trying to manifest. You're not going to manifest your, for your highest good. And you could be standing in your own way, Capricorn. Okay, Because I'm getting with this Princess of Swords, you're being a little bit too over-controlly, micromanaging, whatever this might be. Again, it could be a relationship. It could be something that you're trying to manifest. It could be a promotion. It could be you know twin flame or a soulmate. Um, it could be, um, you know, it could be anything. It could be better health. It could be weight loss. It could be many different things. 
Okay, but what you're what you're trying to manifest again, remember you can't micromanage. And again, I know I just said weight loss, and I know this is just for one of you. Um, if you just follow the program, whatever program that works for you and that's you know healthy and within reason, and I'm also getting somebody who's like stepping off and on the scale like three times a day, you know, like that, you need to let go of that. Okay, and that might just be a metaphor, but that might just be one or two of you who are doing that and you know, spirit is saying, let it go. We will take care of everything. Your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed. We've got it from here. Okay. Do yourself a favor. Allow this to come to you. Allow this to enter your life and, and do so by releasing. Okay. Just releasing some of that control. Um, what you can learn from the outside world or from others. Ace of swords. Aha. See, there we go. The rooster's kicking off for you guys. All right, for my dear Capricorn, so the Ace of Swords, this is an aha moment. This is complete clarity. It just slays me when the rooster, when he starts cock-a-doodle-doing, because it means I'm on the right path, I'm, I'm on the right track. He's decided to kick off right now. So Capricorn, yes, release control, be very clear. You have two aces in your reading. That's a huge blessing. You're on a new beginning. All right, you're not going to mess it up. Don't let some past hurts and disappointments in love or in union or in making decisions. I think you're like, I'm, I've always, I always make the wrong decision. You know, I'm always doing this X, Y, and Z and spirit saying time to, to let that go. Because you, two aces and the fool in this reading, this is a huge new beginning. Okay. Um, you know, and, and, and I think, I think you, I, I'm getting that like people are seeing you as a straight shooter people are seeing you as going places all right and you and and I and don't let that fear of success this is so funny I'm sorry I told you it might be coming <laughs> the rooster coat um you know don't be afraid of the success that's coming your way you know there are huge major major blessings coming your way be honest with yourself okay don't be afraid of any success that you might be having don't be worried like oh something really great happened to me but you know i'm gonna mess it up because i always mess it up that type of thinking remember like when we were reading underneath the fool you know the devil came up in reverse you know, and detaching from that negative thinking, that that limiting, that self-limiting behavior. Now, your projected outcome here, you also have two eights, okay? And the eight of cups, remember, eights are abundance. Eights are manifestation. The eight of cups is really telling me here, if you guys don't release control, if you guys stop, don't stop trying to micromanage the blessings that are coming your way. If you're really trying to manifest love, for instance, but you're trying to control every step of the way and you're not letting spirit and your angels and your ancestors do the work, like you're trying to step up and make up for that, make up for the past and do X, Y, and Z and overly, come on, like de over, overly detail oriented, that you're going to experience the Eight of Cups, which is a little bit of disappointment. And the Spirit doesn't want you to be disappointed. This is a brand new start. These are two beautiful aces. You know, the rooster doesn't want to stop. But, you know, eight, but you and only you are going to manifest this disappointment. And look, he's kind of, he's like sad, he's upset because look at how many cups are spilled. I don't know if you guys can see that. There are, only, there are two cups that are spilled. One of them is kind of shaky, okay? But there are five cups that are standing up. Five cups are still a lot. So in the process, you might have lost three cups and the contents, but you still have over 50% there, okay? So it's never too late to self-correct, okay, Capricorn, no matter what. And don't let your analytical mind get in the way of you seeing the blessings that are coming your way during this period, point blank. All right, Capricorn, so I'm pulling um, additional messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm using the Mermaid uh, Oracle deck because I'm close to the sea and I love these cards, especially when I'm here. <clears throat> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the full moon and Gemini period. Whoa, so I'm about to drop all of them. The present. 
gift, treasure, revel revelation of own value and nowness. Yeah, because you're focusing too much on the past here, past hurts, disappointments, I made bad decisions, being hard on yourself. Spirit saying, bring it, bring it to the, bring yourself to the present. Guide, a guide, mentor, a trustworthy ally. I love that. You might have one in your life. Um, but again, I want you to pay attention. Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed. This is a divinely ordained journey that you're on. And your path is one towards happiness. But really too much focus on the past and bad decisions you might have made. Maybe you feel like you really fumbled a really important life decision in the past. And that's not allowing you to move forward or it's created like a real block for you. And then for some of you, you know, I get you're trying to like micromanage and, and, and be so intense with all of the details that you're you know that's giving you a sense of anxiety and focus on the past focus on the future that's um respectively causes depression anxiety but bringing yourself into the present is going to bring you that balance all right and remember you are so valuable my capricorns you guys are so hard on yourselves you guys work so hard in general, you guys are such good people. You help other people. But it's really important that you focus on you right now, okay? And stop trying to, like, you try to, you know, you bear the weight of the world on your shoulders. You try to do everything. You know, and I'm really getting the Ten of Wands in my mind's eye, which is, like, when you take on too much responsibility or you don't set boundaries and say, no, I can't do that. You say you can do everything and you try to do everything, and it's to your own detriment, Okay, and most of the time you guys are really awesome at it, but at some point in time, you know, something's got to give. A guide, a mentor, a trustworthy ally is going to come into your life. It's somebody that, you know, and during this period you're going to talk to, um, you're going to hear, you're going to make friends with. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest, probably isn't, it's probably a friend. Maybe a family member, somebody that you meet at one of the holiday parties, if you guys are celebrating holidays at this time, or on vacation, or somebody that's really going to sort of help you, show you, again, sort of like give you some, they're going to say something that's going to really resonate with you, okay? Additional messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the full moon in Gemini. Additional messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the full moon in Gemini. Rest and rejuvenation. 1 and 9 leads up to 10. Adds up to 10, breaks down to a 10, so that's the completion of a cycle. And here you go, man holding a coin. 4 and 3 is 7, so it's also reevaluating, okay, what you spend your time and your energy on. Remember, if this is like a job of some sort, remember, you know, that's a big chunk of our day, a big chunk of our lives that we're dedicated to. So remember, there's a blessing. So maybe, you know, I'm just for maybe one of you, you've been fired or something. <laughs> and you're really blaming yourself and you're getting your resume together. Remember, you know, I think you're going for a job interview or something like that. Remember that you've got this, but remember that none of this happens to you. You know, sometimes we are taken down sort of a negative path to teach us a lesson, but also to open up doors to something that's much bigger and much better. Rest and rejuvenation, you know, you're going to get so many downloads at this time, all of these messages from this tech-savvy Gemini full moon and this energy, you know, and for you, in order to process all of it, you're really going to need to take care of yourself, especially for those of my Capricorns who are overextended trying to do everything on their own you know, that's not going to help you in the long run, okay? So self-care, finding out what you need and what you want, okay? That's also, you know, something that was happening from the last full moon in Taurus was to, like, you know, to really get it clear on your desires and your wishes, what you want, what you need, and getting really clear on that. And in, for some of you, this Gemini full moon, you know, you're going to, that's going to ring back to that. Like, you know what? Last full moon, you know, I realized, you know, X, Y, and Z. So uh, I want you to pay attention to what was also happening in the last full moon in Taurus. Okay, and make sure you guys do self-love, meditation, you're doing your daily practice. All right, and make sure that you're open to receiving Capricorn. You guys deserve it. Okay, final message, environment, 44. Again, we have a number eight coming out again. The environment, you know, might be really important for you guys. You might be in a toxic environment at work. You might be in a toxic environment at your home. You guys might be, again, again, with this tech-savvy Gemini full moon. This is like social media. This is all of that EMF energy. Some of you just might need to get away and into nature. Remember, you guys are goats. You guys love the mountains. You love rivers. Um, for others of you, you know, you might just really love going to the beach. But this is telling me, like, especially with this rest and rejuvenation card coming up, you know, you will... There, 
Man holding a coin, again, sorry, this is Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is you showing up. This is you being abundant. This is you, um, you know, just like also evaluating, reevaluating what you, what you invest all of your time and your money into. If it's a relationship or if it's, you know, your spiritual journey and if that's right for you. And this is sort of resonating with this environment card, you know, like really have you created the most fertile environment for you to manifest what it is you need and what you want and what you desire okay and then also for some of you you know it's like your environment needs to change at least for a little bit it doesn't necessarily mean for good it doesn't mean you have to move out it doesn't mean you have to change location but some of you just might need to get more in touch with nature so you can get away from you know all of that technology and social media and sort of get back to center okay for some of you also you just might work in in the outdoors you might be like I don't know, something having to do with the woods is what I keep getting, like a park ranger or, or I don't know, some sort of, uh, I'm seeing like a fireman, but like not in the city, but like more rural or something that may just be for one of you. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I hope this, um, I hope this Gemini full moon brings you many, many blessings. Okay. The blessings that I see that are coming to you. Um, and remember that I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if, and only if that's something that you like to do. And remember that I love you and thank you for listening.